Hello, everybody. Professor Sarah Grillo here. And coming back to you with some follow-up on some of the models that I sent out earlier. If you have not received my models, my financial models, equity valuation, um, go ahead and reach out to me. My email is right here, and I'm happy to send them on to you. Now, these are only for educational purposes. Please do not sell them or use them for investment recommendations. They're very old anyways. They have not been updated. So I have a question here on my YouTube channel from Zihua Pan. Sorry, I butchered your name there. How do you make assumptions for depreciation and CapEx or reinvestment? Could any of these assumptions be from the management team? Well, yes, they could be from the management team, but the thing is that keep in mind what side of the fence they're on. Okay. they're always going to make assumptions that are in their own favor. So what you might want to do is you may want to look at the company's competitors and what the assumptions are there. Similar companies that have a similar capital structure, similar operating and business model, you know, they're, they're buying similar equipment that's going to be depreciated or they have similar equipment in their stock, okay? Capital X, CapEx requirements are similar. If, if that is the situation, then you know, the assumptions should probably be similar as well. Okay, don't always rely on what the management team says. Why do you keep raw material amounts the same for forecasting years and only multiply with the inflation rate? I mean, that's just a basic raw assumption. Um, I, I wouldn't use that as the gospel. It's just these models are very rudimentary and I'm really just using them to educate people or give them an idea, but that absolutely should not be used as, uh, that's something that should not be uniform, that should be customized based on your specific forecast or outlook for any of the materials that are involved with the model. You have to find a forecast for each specific raw material and insert it that way. That would really be much more effective and realistic. Three, what are the best sources to look for competitors? You could do a few things. So you could go to Yahoo Finance there is actually a competitor section on there. If you read what some of the, um, or like also Google Finance as well, you'll see the competitors listed and when you type in the ticker on the, like essentially the company page for that company. You can also listen to what analysts are saying in their research. So there's some of it that's available online, but if you look at, for example, Seeking Alpha is a great source of this, of like free equity research where an analyst will talk about a particular company and then they'll zigzag around and discuss the competitors as well. So those would be three places that you could start if you're looking for competitor information. But if anybody has any other questions on anything I've discussed in this video, please go ahead and email me. You have my email here. Happy to talk with any of you. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching.